A crusader fortress on Syria's Mediterranean coast welcomed thousands of ministers before the war. But now, the custodian of the castle has a lonely job. For the last 11 years, he has been waiting, hoping for the return of tourists every day, sitting alone at his ticket booth in this architectural marvel. Take a look. Every morning, Younes Dayoub climbs the steps to the Al Markab castle. He then uses a large metal key to unlock the wooden gates. After this, it is a long day of waiting. The 49-year-old government employee sits inside a ticket booth, waiting for the visitors that never come. The Crusader era fortress is located on the Mediterranean coast. It is close to 1,000 years old. First fortified in 1062 AD, the hilltop site is an architectural marvel. The finest example of the military architecture from the age of the Crusades. Dayoub has been the custodian of the fortress for the last 15 years. Before the Syrian war, tourists from around the world would come here. They would climb the high walls wandering around its cavernous halls. But the civil war has kept nearly all foreign visitors away. On the other hand, domestic tourism has come to a halt. Ten years of war followed by the coronavirus pandemic. And now, as you see, there is a shortage of fuel. Tourism has decreased, especially local tourism. And regarding international tourism, there is none at all. Dayoub always has a bundle of admission tickets with him, but no one to issue them to. When he gets bored, he passes his time sipping tea or enjoying the tea, remembering the days when visitors used to throng every corner of the fortress. We used to get foreign and Arab visitors before the war, but they stopped coming after the war. The situation here now is totally different to what it was in the olden days. Now days go by without anyone visiting. Rarely does anyone visit the castle now. He still sits in his booth most of the time, waiting and whiling away time. Keeping him company is just a portrait of President Bashar al-Assad. Dayoub still hopes that visitors will come back one day. When they do, he is even willing to give them free tickets. West Asia Bureau, We On, World is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.